welcome back to everydaymakeuplife.com. This video is going to be a makeup tutorial on how to use the Wet n Wild Fergie Photo Op Eyeshadow and Desert Festival and the palette looks like this. This palette is super freaking pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. I know I said the same thing about Maldive Sky which I just did a tutorial on and Duchess Lounge but I feel like this is my favorite out of all the Fergie Photo Op Eyeshadow Collection just because it consists of these gorgeous warm neutrals and I feel like it just suits my skin tone which I'm um, medium to tan skin tone so I think this looks best on my skin tone I really really love it the colors are really pigmented they're smooth it's easy to blend and I really love this matte brown eyeshadow right here in the middle it's matte it doesn't have any shimmer iridescent to it so you can actually use it for your eyebrows to fill it in and it's a really great contour color to define your crease and this is really pretty. I love a good matte brown eyeshadow. And I also love this matte burnt orange right here. It's just really, really pretty. I actually use that, and if you guys can see, above the crease to give my um, eye makeup some warmth. And I think it's just really pretty. It's really gorgeous. I hope you guys like this look because I'm really, really digging it. So this is the look that I came up with using this palette. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I don't want to make this intro too long. So let's just get on with the tutorial. Go ahead and apply foundation, concealer, powder, and fill in your eyebrows. Apply a primer on your lids to make the shadow last longer and make it more vibrant. Here I'm using Wet n Wild Fergie for my Primas Eye Primer. Using the featured palette, take the matte burnt orange with a medium crease brush and apply above the crease, concentrating on the outer corner. Then lightly blend or drag the color inwards. We're creating a transition color from crease to brow bone. Next, apply the shimmery peach champagne shadow on the lid. The color is quite subtle, so you might want to pack it on to get the most color payoff. Next, create an outer V on the eyes like so using the matte brown shadow with a pencil brush. This is a great technique to add definition. Then, fill in the outer V or the outer corner of the eyes with the same brown shadow and blend it lightly with the lid color. Then take a little more of the brown shadow and add more color to the crease, starting on the outer corner and stop halfway. This step is optional but I like doing it because it gives the eyes kind of like that 3D effect that I really like. Just blend the edge of the brown with a blending brush and add a little more of the burnt orange color if you feel like you lost a little bit of it. Again, this step adds a nice warmth to the look. Take the shimmery brown and apply on the lower lash line as well as the shimmery peach champagne, kind of on the inner part of the lower lash line just to frame the eyes. Take the lightest color in the palette and apply on the brow bone for a nice highlight. Then line the eyes using Wet n Wild Fergie Cream Liner in Little Black Dress. I love this cream liner. It's super pigmented and it's so easy to apply. Then go ahead and curl your lashes, apply mascara, and false lashes if you like to add more drama. Just like what I did here. It makes my eyes look bigger. I really, really love it. For blush, apply a peachy pink color. I'm using Wet n Wild Blusher in Pearlescent Pink. I love this blush so much. It goes with any looks. Just make sure you blend it really well because this stuff is so pigmented. You don't want to look like a clown, right? So blend, blend, and blend. To finish the look, apply a pale nude lipstick. I'm using Wet n Wild Fergie Perfect Pout Lip Color in Fergie Daily. I'm so obsessed with this perfect pale nude. I freaking love it. Then top it off with a subtle berry lip gloss to add high shine for that luscious looking lips. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Wet n Wild tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye!